We are just two days away from the start of the ACC Women's Basketball Tournament. Some fans will be allowed in the stands after Governor Cooper eased capacity restrictions last week. Tickets are now available and the excitement is building. WFMY News 2's Luke Lidden joins us live now with how the Greensboro Coliseum is welcoming teams and fans with open arms. Yes, better late than never, right? Now, we don't know the exact number of how many fans will be allowed to attend this week's tournament, but they told us we should know that exact number by this coming Thursday. So we've spoken about fan safety and what crews are doing to keep everyone safe when they attend the tournament later this week. But what about the players and teams that will be playing on this court behind me starting this coming Wednesday? Well, the ACC says players will be taking rapid COVID tests each time they arrive at the Greensboro Coliseum to help prevent any additional exposure to the virus. As for game day itself, each team will be placed in separate locker rooms to help create space between teams and, of course, adhere to social distancing. Well, by separating them into different rooms, we've created that kind of space. And then they're within the environment of the players that they've been with, whether they were on the bus or at the hotel. So by separating them was the request of the ACC Medical uh, Committee. And speaking of the women's tournament, it's almost time to hear from one of our local teams coming up during sports in the next 10 or so minutes. We'll hear from the Wake Forest Demon Deacons in just a bit, so be sure to stick around. Luke, thank you. Tickets are now on sale for the women's tournament. Tickets start at just $5. The first game is Wednesday at 2 p.m. This will be the 21st year the Greensboro Coliseum has hosted the women's tournament, the most of any venue. The men's tournament starts next Tuesday. 